I'm Dr. Rajkar and today I'm going to discuss the claim two infrared thermometers cause damage to your pineal gland. With fever as one of the hallmarks of the COVID-19 infection, having a contact-free thermometer is not only essential but also critical. The forehead contact-free infrared thermometers are being widely used during the coronavirus pandemic to measure temperatures while avoiding contact which may lead to the COVID-19 infection. The claim that these devices can cause damage to your pineal gland is incorrect. So what is the pineal gland? Once known as the third eye, the pineal gland is a small gland located deep in the center of your brain. Named for its pine cone shape, this gland secretes the hormone melatonin which plays a role in maintaining the body's internal clock. Without it, the body would struggle to sleep and wake at the same time and would not even know how to respond to changes in light levels properly. And so it helps in maintaining a consistent schedule from day to day, a process which most people take for granted. Infrared is a form of radiation that is not visible to the naked eye and humans sense it as warmth or heat. So how do these infrared thermometers work? The non-contact infrared thermometers work by measuring the infrared radiation that is given off by an object or a person and then converting this into a temperature. As these devices measure infrared rather than emitting it, the person whose body temperature is being taken is not subject to any extra infrared radiation. The red light which is seen on these devices is just that, a beam of light that helps the user to aim the device correctly at the right body part. A press statement from the Ministry of Health Malaysia states that infrared thermometers are designed to detect and absorb the heat in the form of infrared rays emitted from the human body and converts it into electricity. The electronic circuit within the thermometer processes the electrical signal to determine the temperature and displays the reading on a screen. Since the infrared thermometers do not emit harmful radiation, they are safe for use. Even if infrared rays were to be directed towards the pineal gland, it's positioned too deeply in the brain for the rays to reach it. Light has a poor capacity to penetrate the barrier formed by the skull. In order to reach the pineal gland, you would have to cross the cranial box completely. The genesis of this belief of the effect of thermometers on the pineal gland is probably because in reptiles and birds, this gland is indeed found right below the skull and contains photosensitive cells. However, this is not the case in mammals. The human brain is comprised of two distinct hemispheres connected by fibers. The pineal gland is located in the middle of the brain in between the two hemispheres. The pineal gland contains mainly pinealocytes, which are cells that produce the hormone melatonin. The cells of the retina detect light and transmit information to certain number of relays in the brain before reaching the pineal gland. This activates the secretion of melatonin during the night. Overexposure to infrared radiation can lead to health problems such as skin burns and damage to the eyes. But this is not the case with the use of infrared thermometers. Research has found no basis for risk associated with the use of non-contact infrared thermometers. I hope this discussion has been helpful for sorting out your doubts and queries regarding the same. In the meantime, keep smiling and Namaste.